Hello! So, today I'm going to do a what's in my bag video. This is my new handbag. It's from Ollie and Nick in Cardiff. So, my bag is basically just plain black bag with gold um, zips and detailing on it. And on all like the um, metal zips, they have Ollie and Nick written on them. And also they have like these teeny tiny little buttons as well that um, have all got Ollie and Nick written on them, which I think is a really nice little detail to have. And I really love the um, little, uh, what do you call it? Is that a key ring? I'm not call it a key ring. Like a bag key ring. And it's a big and symbol for Ollie and Nick, so that I really like as well. So to start off with, I will show you what is in this little front pocket here. There's not much in it, I don't think. I have my key card to get into my room and my flat. I have my iPhone, my little sugar skull on the back, or Day of the Dead skull. And I think. What do I have in here? Oh, and a little packet of chewing gum. So the front pocket, which is this little bit in here, I have my uni notebook with my breast cancer awareness pen. Many, many pens, because I always never have a pen, but now I will never be without a pen. The back bit, which is this bit is actually empty I think yeah it's empty usually I keep my bottle of water in there but I'm drinking it at the moment so it's not in there see I have like this big zip down the middle and if you open it up I also have you can see that there's this sort of compartment bit here and then this compartment bit here and then there's like a middle compartment bit, which I use as like an inbuilt makeup toiletries bit. And then there's like a little pocket on the side. And in there I have a little um, compact mirror that a friend found for me in school, in like third year of high school. And I've had it ever since, just cause I never had one before and I've never needed to get another one. But I think I should probably update it because it does say hip house on it and has like a cartoon picture of a girl. Next thing I have is subway vouchers. That's interesting, isn't it? And then in another little pocket, I have more chewing gum. Then in the first little compartment, I have a new checkbook that I never ever use. My paper chase. Um, fold away shopping bag because I live in Wales and you have to pay for all your plastic bags so I have this one and Nasda one in here as well and I have my Nika purse which looks like this it's purple and I really love Nika because it's meant to look vintage so the older it gets and the more worn it gets it actually starts to look better and better I have no money that's really sad and then I have all my cards and also a picture of my brother and sister when they were really young. I'm actually the youngest of the three of them. I'm 11 years younger than my brother and he's the middle one. So this is a really, really old picture but it makes me feel better about myself because they look really young and it makes me laugh. So I keep that in there. Next thing I have is my car keys. The back pocket, which is this one. There is an umbrella from a shop called Octopus, which I don't think exists anymore. I think it's closed down. And it is supposed to have a doll's head on the top. But I went to Italy and I was messing about with it and I snapped it off by accident. So now it doesn't have a head on it, but it's just like a purple umbrella. And it's got like little wellies on because it was a doll, but I ripped her head off. And it goes in this lovely little waterproof silver bag so that it doesn't get all your stuff wet when it's been raining you put it back in your handbag so I can put it in this and everything stays nice and dry. I also have a pair of extremely dirty scratch 3D glasses which I probably would never be able to use so I have no idea why they're in there. Another Asda packer bag thing. Next bit which is 
is this middle section here. I have some packet of tissues from Primark, a travel packet of simple kind to skin facial wipes, my Nivea Pearl and Beauty 48 hour deodorant spray, little travel size just in case you forget in the morning, some Tesco protecting antibacterial hand gel, Vaseline um, aloe vera hand lotion which is really really good and I love anything with aloe vera in so I always um, have products with aloe vera and this is amazing which is why I have it in my handbag. Oh. I have this a little tub of Vaseline again with aloe vera that I never use because I don't really like it that much. Of course, sort of gone off the Vaseline lip care products because they make your lips like really greasy and I don't really like it. So I've got my Burt's Bees lip balm, which is not in my handbag because I've just used it. So this is in there instead, just in case I forget my other one and I'm like, oh no, I need some sort of lip care. And so I keep this in there, even though I'm not a massive fan of it. I wanted some foundation to carry around with me. But I obviously didn't want to carry like my big foundations. So instead I grabbed some of my testers. So I got my two um, Dior Nude Skin testers just in case I need a bit of a touch up. And uh, yeah, so I keep them in there. I have, I wanted some mascara that I could keep in my handbag that I wouldn't like have to keep getting out and then putting back all the time. So I went out and I got some cheap ones. And I use this today actually, and it's really, really good, so I probably will end up keep getting it out of my bag and putting it back in. And this is the Collection 2000 Super Size Fat Lash Mascara. And it looks like this. And this one's in Ultra Black. And I use this just to sort of test it out, because I thought if I keep it in my handbag, I may never ever use it, and I'll never know what it's like. But it's actually really, really good. I also always carry eyeliner around with me, because I wear a lot of eyeliner. Exaggerate Waterproof eye definer from Rimmel London which looks like this and it's just sort of like it's a bit like a crayon-y texture to it with it being waterproof it, it stays for ages and ages and ages and then it has a little smudger on the bottom as well so I have that in there because I have really dry lips I like um, to use a lip scrub this is actually one that I stole from my sister the bubblegum lush lip scrub it looks like this the only problem with it is that it's really really tasty and I end up just licking it off and then putting more on and sometimes I will just like eat it because it's basically just sugar and it tastes so good. A new lipstick that I bought the other day. This isn't actually the colour that I wanted but I really wanted to try out this sort of type of lipstick. It's the L'Oreal, it's the Caress one, is that what it's called? Caress and this one is in 04 Rose Mademoiselle. It's a really really lovely texture, it's a bit like reminds me a bit like the Revlon um, lip butters, like it's really really moisturising, it's not very drying so that's really excellent for me. I love those type of lipsticks because I have really dry lips and it's really hard to sort of um, get the colour to look nice because they sort of stick to areas but this, because it's so moisturising, it's a lovely lovely product to use so I did originally want the Dating Coral one because that's a gorgeous coral colour so I might go out and get that sometime this week. And last but not least, my all-time favourite purchase ever. I only got this the other day, and I don't know why I've never had one before. It is my green Travelo. If you haven't got one of these, you seriously need to get one because they are fantastic. In this one at the moment, it's got quite a lot in it actually. This is my um, Jimmy Choo perfume that I've got in here at the moment. So that is all for now. One thing I am going to include at the very, very end of this video is a little picture of what my Halloween makeup is going to look like because it's Halloween on Wednesday. I have my pumpkin in the background behind my candle. And yeah, so I decided to do a Day of the Dead Skull makeup. So I'm going to put a picture at the end of this video so you can all check that out. Also, if you want to go and check out my blog, there will be like a step-by-step um, post up there of how I did it and what products I used as well. So go and check that out, I'll put the link um, in the description below. Also remember to subscribe to this channel, also go and check out my vlog channel which will also be in the description below. Remember to subscribe to that channel as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next week. Bye bye!